Hi, Caitlin um, and Mike. Uh, my name is Chris. Uh, Mike already knows me, right? So um, I am the, uh, I, I got a lot of hats I wear here. I, I'm a um, librarian. I'm an archivist. I uh, do a lot of uh, a variety of things, but mostly I am tied to the archives here at, at CSUB. Um, my official title, actually I, go, I have a few titles, but um, it's Archives and Digital Initiatives. And um, I'm also the director of the Historical Research Center here at uh, the Walter Stern Library at CSUB. So um, <laughs> yeah, I don't need to be any, any taller. <laughs> uh, so um, anyways, I, uh, um, I'm gonna give you a, a bit of a, a tour of our archives here and um, kind of show, kind of, you know, introduce you to what we do here. So, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip my screen so you could see more of the archives and less of me. Um, and let me just remember how to do this. Here we go. So you should be seeing the, uh, the this is the reading room here. So this is the entry, uh, first room you come in um, into the archives here. So you'll see, we've got some storage bins here and what have you. Um, this room here is where our researchers, uh, when they come in to do research, uh, this is where they'll work. So they'll come in and uh, put in a call slip uh, for materials. Uh, we'll go pull the materials and then um, we will uh, bring them out here for them uh, to look at. So now moving this way here, uh, so let me back up so you can kind of see how we're, we're going here. So we're gonna be going into the actual um, the archival area um, over here, uh, gotta give a, uh, a nod over here to my student assistant. That's Donato Cruz. He's uh, a graduate student here in history, and he's he's my uh, my brain. So he he's, he keeps me uh, um, up to date of what, what we're supposed to be doing, and um, is our tech person. Uh, does a lot of uh, cool stuff. We do have a YouTube cha YouTube channel if you want to check out some of the videos we're doing. We actually just did two videos today that um, were uh, just uploaded, but. Uh, anyways, here, this is, uh, we call this Scan Central, and Scan Central is our digital lab. And uh, so uh, one thing I should say is that we, we have a lot of students who, uh, from, from Cal State and uh, from out in the community who come in and do uh, volunteer work. And uh, so there's a variety of jobs. I'll be kind of talking about some of those jobs as we go through. Uh, this tour, but uh, one of the things that um, we have our students do is digitize some of our historical artifacts. So um, here um, we have, um, uh, this is a photo scanner here that you're looking at. Uh, we can do uh, basically scan anything, uh, any size from large blueprints all the way down to uh, small photo negatives. And so we do a variety of um, photo digitization, um, this, this machine right here is uh, a document scanner. So it's, it's, it's like a copy machine in a sense. So you, you, can, you can feed your document in here, uh, you know, a stack of documents and um, create PDF documents uh, <coughs> that we can upload into our institutional repository. Um, this here is our large scanner. This is a feed uh, scanner. So uh, we can do anything um, as, as wide as this, uh, let's see, let's turn this sideways here. Maybe it looks a little better. Um, anything as wide as that scanner there, and it could be as long, it could be infinitely long. So um, we mainly use it for blueprints and newspapers. Those are the two high use uh, documents that we, that we put through there. So, um, so we're able to, to really cap capture some, some decent images. So coming out into the archive here, um, so I'm just gonna kind of do a scan uh, so you can kind of see, uh, you're gonna see a lot of like over here, a lot of different rolled up items. Um, these are all, um, you can just see the, the number of books we have here. What you're looking at, um, these are um, court records. So just recently, um, earlier this year, we took possession, uh, was it? No, not this year, last year. Okay, we're already in 2019. Uh, this time last year, we took uh, possession of records from the Kern County Courts. Uh, these records um, span uh, from the founding of the county in 1866 all the way to about 2000 and, um, 2004. Um, within these records, we have um, a, you know, a variety of indices and we have um, 
actual, uh, you know, like registers of, of physicians. We have courtroom minutes. Um, the courtroom minutes are, you know, like, uh, you know, what the court reporter takes down when they're, when they're writing, you know, when they're recording what's going on in, uh, in the proceedings of the court. Um, and these, you know, of course, go back um, to about 1866 and cover a variety of periods of time. There's also um, probate records. So uh, when people die, they have to have their wills adjudicated. Um, we'll have um, divorce records. We have civil records, so people suing people. Um, and then what you're seeing now are uh, basically county planning uh, documents. So these include blueprints, uh, engineering reports. Uh, so, you know, um, um, think bridges, uh, county buildings, and, and what have you. Um, I want to show you kind of an example of one of the court records. This is one of my favorite. And um, let's see if we can get my finger lined up to where. So what you're seeing is Merle Haggard. So, you know, think Bakersfield Sound just passed away recently. And this is his, uh, the, the, uh, they're basically documenting his conviction for, uh, I believe it was, this was the armed robbery conviction. And you can see he was sent, hit, sent to Chino and it's dated January 31st, 1958. Um, so there's a lot of interesting things that <clears throat> we learned through these, these records. Um, we have a, um, one of my fa other favorite documents is a court case uh, from 1878 that's a double murder and it's over a mining uh, claim. Uh, and the two people who committed the homicide eventually get um, lynched right in their cells. Uh, it's kind of an, an interesting story. Um, and what, so one of the, the projects, actually we have a variety of projects that go on um, um, just with these documents alone. So we have some people are transcribing um, uh, these documents. So basically they'll take a, um, a book and um, here's another example of a court record. Um, ooh, that doesn't look good. What's happening here? Oh, my hand was in the way. Um, still in the way um you'll see that so like uh they'll take like a court record such as this and you can see it's in cursive um sometimes they're hard to read sometimes not so hard and what they'll do is just basically transcribe this onto a word document so that we can uh, more easily search these things we'll also digitize them but the problem with digitizing uh this type of material is that because it's in cursive, you're not able to use the um, OCR to do a search through the PDF. So you have to have um, a better way of doing that. And that's, uh, that's, that's why we transcribe them. Uh, so uh, we have students that will transcribe these, these documents. We also have students that might digitize selected items. Um, what other uh, things do we have them do, Donato, with these? Um, transcribe, digitize, um, also try and uh, just interpret. Um, so, you, what we'll see, you see these big, huge books here, and, um, you know, uh, one case in here, um, is the, the, whole, the whole details to a case is, isn't going to be described in just one book. Often you get into the book, and it'll refer you to other aspects of the case that are in other books, and so um, what we do is we'll have our students figure out where, where that other material is related to a single case. And uh, so, um, you know, just a, just a variety of different stuff um, that goes on with that. Um, so let's, we're moving along into the archive here. And um, let me flip this again. Um, so um, again, we have more court records here. Um, you can see there's just a ton um, of records that we took in. Um, um, a couple of thousand books um, related to Kern County history. Um, some of them were, um, um, disbanded basically basically just took all the papers out of the book so these are actual um you know books as well uh just you know stacked um they they've been um uh microfilmed so uh we have the microfilms for them as well so that's why they're all torn apart here um but we also have their other types of collections like uh what you're seeing here is a geology collection uh related to kern county petroleum and geology uh, we have the Roy, th these are the Roy Ashburn papers here. So Roy Ashburn was a um, assemblyman here in Kern County. And um, we have uh, a variety of items um, right here. You'll see a, a uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger bobblehead. 
um, that's in the collection. So you get some weird things from time to time in your collections when they, when they come in. Uh, we also have over here more political papers. Uh, so this is the Harlan Hagen um, political paper collection. Uh, we also have um, Bill Ketchum, who was another politician. This is the Bill Ketchum collection. It continues on. Um, over here, we've got the Clarence Colomar Architectural Archive. Um, this is a really interesting uh, collection. It's not just architectural papers. Uh, it also includes uh, uh, his manuscripts. He was a prolific writer. Um, building specifications, blueprints. Uh, he also taught um, architecture and um, an architectural drawing and drafting at Bakersfield High School. So we have some of his student drawings. Um, so uh, just a variety of different things. We also have a lot of his family history. Um, he fought in World War I or served in World, during World War I in a machine gun regiment. And so we have, um, you know, photos and documents related to his service in World War I. And uh, those are all, the, the, what you're seeing there is uh, just blue, blueprint after blueprint um, related to the different Adobe uh, homes he, he designed here. Uh, he was also an artist. You might say he was a, a Renaissance person, you know, like a Renaissance man. You may have heard that before. Um, here, uh, you know, he's, these are his um, watercolors. Uh, so he was a painter as well. Uh, and just a, just a really interesting guy. So. Um, over here, this collection is our um, Fontaine collection. This is our uh, and our Sierra Club collection. This is all environmental history, and so like in uh, so Vince Fontaine was a, uh, uh, or I mean not Vince but Joe Fontaine. <laughs> um, Joe Fontaine was uh, a past president of the uh, uh, the, the uh, Sierra Club and uh, at, you know at the national level, and he was very instrumental in getting the golden trout wilderness um, designated. So up there in your area, uh, Caitlin, uh, this is um, a lot of these documents are related to the Kernville area and the golden trout uh, wilderness. So um, so moving along here, um, you can see more court documents. The court documents are just uh, anywhere we had room to put them. <laughs> so they kind of mix in, uh, in and out from, of our other collections. Um, let me just move over here so you can see. Uh, one of the things we have, we have a lot of student workspace. So I think we, in all we have, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, ten workstations for students to work at. Um, and uh, so here's another workspace back here. So we, we um, this is a, uh, the Dust Bowl Migration Archive uh, Bibliography, these three boxes you see here. And we've had um, students uh, working on, on that, just verifying sources and um, getting a better uh, grasp on what we have in the bibliography. Um, this collection here is uh, the, um, uh, what's, I'm trying to think of the name of it right now. It's, I'm, 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 I'm losing some, what's, what's our collection called? Oh, the Blodgett, that's it. The Claude Blodgett collection. I don't know how I can forget that. But Claude Blodgett was a real estate developer here in, in uh, Kern County. And these records here, these are records that Donato is using for his master's thesis. So he um, is basically writing a, a thesis about um, housing um, in Kern County, specifically the Mayflower area, which is uh, really hasn't been too, you know, documented at all. And so um, this collection has been a, a key um, um, tool for him. So, um, so moving along here, you'll see more court records. And, um, but now we're getting back into the area that's our preservation area. So, um, which is, which you see here are some tubs, um, uh, that we use to, to isolate documents and clean documents up. Um, we do, um, minor level preservation here. So, uh, we'll rehumidify documents um to maybe to get them to lay flat so like uh, this tub you see here is a, a rehumidification a rehumidifier device um where you just put a little bit of water in the bottom there and put your document on the rack and you let it sit and the humidity does all the work for you so once you um, pull it out you just roll it out and flatten it out um, with some acid-free cardboard and you have a nice and flat document so uh, so we do minor things like that, minor document repair. These are these are types of projects that students uh, could, could get involved in. Um, 
And one other thing I want to point out here, though, is um, it's uh, you can see we're running out rapidly, running out of space here. Um, so back um, in November, we got word that the Bakersfield Californian was abandoning their building downtown, and so they were um, basically getting rid of stuff. And so these file cabinets here are in this, it's, a, it's just a huge index, and um, these uh, indices here. Um, I believe they, they come from, they start in about the 1980s, but what you'll see is they're, they're, um, we're still trying to make sense of them, out of them. So this, this could be a student project here is to help us figure out exactly what's in this, um, this collection. But these are, they're different subject headings. So like here, um, you can see that's foreign relations, Iraq, and you can see the stamps, um, of different document or different uh, newspaper clippings that they have in, in this, this, this folder um, related to Iraq and foreign relations. So we're trying to, trying to make sense of this, uh, this collection. Um, it's, uh, it, it's, it's really, um, there's some interesting stuff that I've come across here so far, but I still don't really know what's in here. So um, this is something we would, we would uh, need help with. Um, and now we're back to more court documents. So um, in this, these two containers here, we've got aerial maps, uh, aerial photos basically of, of Kern County. And then um, we're right back where we started from. We came full circle here. So, um, so that's, the, that's our, our, our main um, collection area. Now we have a few documents here that are, that are uh, special to us. They're not really parts of collections, but they are, um, uh, nevertheless, historically important. Um, so, for example, this this document here is kind of hard because of the glare, but um, let me just show you the signature on here. Where am I? Okay, I'm gonna go down. There we go. There it is. So, I don't. Can you guys see who signed that? Abraham Lincoln. This is a uh, a, a um, officer's commission for a. Um, Oh, what was the, uh, you have to look at it. Quartermaster, yeah, during the Civil War. Um, over here, this is our oldest document. So this is from 1641. This is a Spanish will. And um, it's on um, vellum. It's, it's, you know, vellum was uh, kind of like an, it's an animal skin. It could, vellum could, eat, could be either uh, calf skin, pig skin, or sheep skin. Um, here you'll see this, this is the uh, seal of the king, the official, um, you know, it's like a stamp in a sense, but it's, it's, it's actually made out of lead, um, very heavy. I'll move along over here. You'll see this is uh, a leaf. So basically a page out of a book. Um, and we have quite a few of these from different texts. Uh, this is uh, called the collection. And this is this particular page uh, is in um, Arabic, and it's a commentary on 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 the Quran, and it's dated uh, 1276. So that's probably one of our oldest uh, pieces that we have. Um, and then um, we also have uh, like a civil we have Civil War letters, Civil War collection. Um, this is George Berry Davis right here, um, and we have his Civil War letters there. Um, do not you want to? plug in the link to the Civil War letters. And um, so um, we have um, all of his letters are digitized online, so you can take a look at them. But he basically uh, fought during the, the Civil War. He came, uh, he was in a Michigan regiment. Um, he gets uh, sent to Andersonville uh, prison in Georgia, which was um, supposed to be one of the worst prisons in, in you know, ever, you know, in history uh, for, for POWs. And uh, there was a lot of, uh, you know, cannibalism, and there was uh, a lot of disease and dysentery, and uh, chances were, if you went there, you wouldn't survive, uh, you know, Andersonville, but uh, George Barry Davis does survive, and after he gets, after the war's over and he's released, um, he comes here to Bakersfield, and he lives in Bakersfield for a while. He eventually goes back to Michigan, um, but um, we do see a lot of Civil War veterans uh, on both sides, north and south, after the war, came here to, um, to Kern County 
um, because the gold rush is still going on. And, you know, so they're, they're coming here to, to get away from the, you know, the horrors of war and, you know, start a life and what have you. And uh, so if you go down to uh, Union Cemetery here in Bakersfield, you'll see a, uh, you know, the, there's two different areas for uh, the Civil War soldiers, one an area for Union soldiers and an area for, um, for uh, Confederate soldiers. So, um, so that's kind of like a, 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 the, the dime tour of, of the archives. It's kind of a whirlwind tour. Um, and um, just kind of want to mention a few more projects that we have um, that we do here, uh, that we have students do. So I mentioned scanning and the scanning can be, um, you, know, you know, digitizing negatives. Um, we want to uh, digitize the Bakersfield Californian index. We have that now. Um, it's uh, that, that's the index of the actual newspaper. Um, we've got videotapes that we're digitizing from um, CSUB um, history and what have you. Um, we've got uh, uh, duplicate book uh, identification. We've got a lot of duplicate books in our, in our um, um, Kern County history collection and we want to identify those. Um, and, and I mentioned a lot of the stuff about uh, the court records. Um, so, you know, there's a, there's just a variety of things that we can do there. Um, blueprints and maps. Um, we're, we're always looking to, to identify, uh, unique maps that we have in our collection. Um, that Sierra Club collection, um, I mentioned is, has, hasn't been thoroughly described. And so we need students to be able to, to basically go in and, and research that collection and, um, you know, let us know, figure us, you know, figure out what it is. So we can uh, get it out to our um, our, stu our our students, our researchers. Um, that Roy Ashburn collection uh, hasn't been processed yet either. I, I showed that to you with the bobbleheads. Um, we're looking for you know um, just getting that stuff uh, going. Um, and it, you know one of the um, big milestones that's coming up for CSUB is we're we're uh, next year we're going to be celebrating our 50th anniversary from the. Um, for the start of classes. Classes started in, in 1970. And so we're having a, uh, this big celebration and we have a, a gallery um, exhibit. Um, and the exhibit, oh, and I forgot, I don't, I don't know if I told you, Mike, um, that um, our gallery exhibit for the World War I exhibit is online now. So um, can you put that um, link in there as well? Um, so we have a 3D virtual tour of the, uh, the World War I exhibit. But um, so we're going to be doing another exhibit. Um, and we're just started working on it that uh, we want to op have it open in September. And that'll be uh, basically an exhibit about the history of CSUB. So um, so that's that's what we're uh, that's what we're one of the you know big projects that we're working on. So um, so that would be a, a good opportunity to get involved in the history of CSUB. So. Um, but from there, I'm going to kind of open it up to your questions. Uh, so, uh, and is there anything, Mike, uh, you want me to cover that I haven't covered? Um, please let me know. Um, other than that, we can take some questions. Already, uh, Caitlin has expressed interest in comparing the Joe Pontine records to the Golden Trail uh, Wilderness and the uh, Forest Service archives. Oh, that'd be an interesting look. Yeah, that would be definitely be interesting. Um, that's uh, something that we can, yeah, we can do. Um, um, that one, one, and one of the things we have to do with our collections or what we should be doing is if we have materials that um, line up with materials that are in other archives, we need to be able to push researchers that way, you know, so we need to know what's, what's in other collections as well. So, yeah, definitely. You got anything else? Any other? So in the personal collections, are there personal items, letters, journals, and memos? I mentioned the Harlan Hayden collection, of course. Or do you uh, collection has her journal from high school? Yeah, so we have things like that. And, the, oh, and one of the other collections I didn't mention, um, let me walk over to it, is the Bakersfield uh, Women's Club collection. And, um, you know, I, I don't think we really have done a finding aid for this yet. But um, so here's the... Women's Club of Bakersfield, um, and this we have scrapbooks and we have photographs and then we have minutes from meetings. So all of these uh, files here that have uh, yet to be put into compiled into a finding aid. Uh, so that's that's another um, 
interesting collection that we have too um, that needs needs some attention so all right any other letters to the editor included in the california materials was that the question yeah so uh yeah there's uh well in the um i haven't looked in that index but um let me go over here one thing i didn't show you i told you we had the bakersfield californian but we have a microfilm we have all the microfilm now for the californian let me go in here it's gonna get dark for a second but um so here are the bakersfield californians uh these start in 1866 and they go to let me go over to it 2006 so um and i believe it actually goes to 2008 we've got more um outside of this room um but you know the letters to the editor would definitely be in in there as well um uh, we also have a subscription um in in the archive only for with um um newspaper archives that allows you to to search through um the newspaper um and get digital images of the newspaper but the problem what we're starting to see um with with a lot of the research we've been doing is that um there's a lot of missing stuff in newspaper archives we we found that there's issues missing um we're finding that the the search interface is horrible um so um it, you know you, you got to really look you know day by day at the newspaper but to uh, you know really get a hold of you know what's going on but um you know searching for letters to the editor would be very easy um and all the photo negatives yeah yeah so but good question any other other questions so um i was going to talk a little bit about the process of volunteering um we have to do a volunteer um acknowledgement form that has to be signed by our dean and then uh, we have to file that with the um Human Resources Department. Um, so there's a little bit of paperwork that's that's involved. So, um, but uh, if if you think you want to, you know, volunteer, just you know, please let me know. Um, I I gave the volunteer acknowledge form to uh, Mr. Warner and and uh, a list of, of the jobs that we have available. Um, that that list isn't ex exhaustive. If there's something you think uh, would be a cool project to do. Let us know, because um, we're we're more willing to to uh, you know let students kind of explore. Um, we really want this to be a hands-on archive. Most archives are kept, you know, under lock and key, and the archivists won't let you know people in. You know, <laughs> they're 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 very reluctant sometimes. Um, we don't want that to be the case here. We want we want um, our our people to be able to to actually get down and dirty with the documents. So um so any other questions Phyllis, can we have anything we're probably done chris can you talk over this portal once we're done recording yes okay well um thanks for joining me today and um um you know i look forward to hearing from you if you have any questions please let me know and um with that, I'm going to stop the recording, but I will hang on. So let me get to that. And we are stopping the recording.